have a mind, a, a lot, a lot of respect to, and he laid the blueprint for all of us to walk right after him. So we could be able to just make it right. Because there's a lot of you guys here today, right? And and I'm, I'm going to share this with you guys, right? There's a lot of you guys here today on this call that are outgoing, that grew up from outgoing concerns. What do I mean by that, right? You guys grew up in environments just like me from the lowest lows. If that's you, drop an I in the chat box, right? Drop an I in the chat box. And I'm starting this call just like this because, guys, it's time, right? Because, look, three years ago, I made a decision to surround myself with the people who are privately correct and publicly supporting me. I made that decision three years ago and I got started here in this journey and it was the best decision that I made because I was transitioning myself from working at nine to five. I was transitioning myself from college. I was transitioning myself from really being like, yo, what is next? Having a successful business and failing due to COVID, I, I had to figure it out. And at the time, I remember I was going through it mentally, spiritually, financially. I was going through. I was in this. I was like in, in a period of point that I felt stuck, stagnant. And I was like, man, I'm just surrounded by the wrong people. I'm not surrounded by the right people who are publicly supporting me. So, guys, I decided to invest into this journey. And at rock bottom, they say, comes your biggest blessing. And my biggest blessing was this. And I'm telling you guys here right now that in the position that we're all in, right, within the last three years, I've been able to not only do this full time, but I've been able to see what is possible. And I've been able to see what it really takes. And I'm here to tell you guys today Teacup called me. We had a call this morning. He texted me. He's like, man, let's do a call for your team. And I could tell, like, he woke up with me in his head today because it was early when he hit me up, right? It was early. And I just, I, I say this to not, not just to impress you, but to impress upon you guys that right now is the biggest time for us, man. And 2024 is our year. And I don't know if you guys see it, but this is our year. It's our time. And I'm really, really, really excited and blessed to be here and really excited and blessed to be able to lead all you guys here today. You see, I I, I spoke to, to Nano, I spoke to Darwin, I spoke to Teacup, and I told them, I was like, man, we have a different group here. This group right here is hungry. This group right here wants, that, wants to hit that next level. That group here is just missing one thing. And they were like, bro, let's let, put me on a call, man. Let me talk to them. And I'm here to tell you guys that this is our time. Everybody drop It's Our Time in the chat box real quick, right? It's our time. Because right now, today, today makes a, makes, makes a checklist of what exactly we all need to do. Today is February 2nd, man. February 2nd. Of what you roll down in December for your New Year's resolution, what you roll down for New Year's, where are you right now with your checklist? It's time for you to take that action. It's time for you to be like, man, enough is enough. And that's where I'm at. So when I went to my first convention and I saw Teacup come out and he came out to this song, Dreams and Nightmares. And I just felt like, yo, this is home. And that was the first convention I went to. And when I went to that first convention, guys, I truly caught the vision. I truly saw what was possible for me. I saw that individuals that come from similar backgrounds where I come from, individuals that come from even worse backgrounds than I come from, they found the vehicle the same way that I did. They just dedicated the time to their skill set. They dedicated the time to what, what was possible for them. And they dedicated the time and they stayed through the time and look at the person they became. Teacup stood out to me out of everyone because of his story, because of the impact of people that he's been able to do. And also not only just his impact, but the love that he has for people. Because there's a lot of people that say, oh yeah, I'm gonna help you. Oh, I'm gonna do this. But he doesn't just tell you that he loves you and he's here for you, but he shows it with his actions. You see today, he could be with his kids. He could be at home hanging out. He could be doing whatever he wants. 
and he's here on this call today to not only just talk to you guys, but to give you guys something because it's time, right? So with that being said, guys, I'm going to walk away here from greatness. And this individual, if I haven't told you enough about him, this individual right here has seven plus years in the industry, has seven plus years within, has 10 plus years in the industry of network marketing, but has seven years here working with us with I Am Mastery Academy. It's a Hall of Famer. It's a network marketing Hall of Fame. You know, it's not about the money that he has made, but the amount of impact of individuals. He has impact all around the world. And right now, he actually is the Northeast here of America, our leader to be able to launch and build events to events to events. So if you guys want to be able to be in the field and learn from one of the greatest, this is the individual right here that I'm going to bring up. And I'm going to step away here from greatness because this is my brother right here. This is my mentor. Yeah, I call him Unc, you feel me? Because he just he, he's the real OG and he just always brings value to me and is always has me on my mind, always checking in. And it's our time. So with that being said, Lasaldo, the floor is yours, my brother. Drop some seven seven sevens for coach. What's up? What's up? What's up, everyone? Um, your your commitment to excellence, I appreciate that because it's Friday. It's seven o'clock. It's been a long week, I think, for everybody. You know, I can speak for myself, but I also can speak for everybody on this chat. It's been a long week for everybody. So to be here on a Friday, you know, says a lot about you and your commitment to your success and um. Man, I want to see some faces, though, man. I want, I want everybody, well, I want to see some faces, man. I don't want you to be, you know what I'm saying, with the camera. I don't want it's only me looking at you, I think. I'm not sure, but I want to see everybody. I want to see everybody, you know? Because you, you could be outside and just have, have this on, but you might not be paying attention, so I want everybody to be paying attention, you know? Um, It's funny because I always say any anytime I speak, it's just what comes to mind. I never really have, I've never really written anything down anytime I've ever spoken on stage, anything. It just, even um, the I'm a win the minute that that came about, I was doing an event and all of a sudden I just said, yo, let's just say this. I'm a, and then all of a sudden, like I said, oh wow, I actually kept it. But most of the times, everything that I, when I speak, I never have anything written down. I never, I just do it from the top of my, my mind and from my heart. So when he said, it's time. I just started like in my mind, oh wait, let me do something on time. Let me just think about time and stuff like that. Because he kept saying it. And he kept saying it. So I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm gonna train about. About time. And why is it the perfect time for, for you to succeed? Um, and I want you to write some of these things down because I, I I'm you know I have them in my head, you know, before they leave my head. So I want you to write some of these things down. But one thing about never writing nothing is that you sit on stage and then you forget what you said. So people will come up to me and be like, yo, man, what you said was amazing. I'm like, I said that? They'd be like, yeah. I'm like, okay, because I don't, again, I don't write nothing down. So once I say it, it's gone out of my system and you have to remind me that I said something like that. So I will always, like, when I would do these calls, I will always appreciate when people tag me and, and like, write, like, a quote that I said on the call because I'll write it down. I'm like, oh, I said that, whoa. Oh. Let me write that down. Because again, I, I never, I never, it's always all from the top of my mind. So, um, but he kept saying it's time and it's true. It is time for your success. Like number one, I want you to write this word down, personal growth, right? Like I want you to think about it. You've accumulated a bunch of knowledge, skills, and experience over time. Over this growth that you had, since you've been at I am, right, to today, right, you've like, you have accumulated a wealth of knowledge, skills, experience over time. Now think about it, right? So you have accumulated a wealth of knowledge, wealth of skills, and experience, right? Over over the time that you've been at I am, right? So now you accumulated that. Now it's time to leverage those assets. Those assets that you accumulated, which was experience, knowledge, and skills, it's time to leverage those assets. Does that make sense? 
Like it, it, it's time to leverage those assets that you accumulated over your personal growth, right? So that's number one. Number two, opportunities. When, you, when, when I say leverage assets, is your assets that you gain in this personal growth, your assets, which is wealth, wealth is knowledge, skills, experience, right? Leverage that. Number two, opportunities. And really think about it, this world is filled with opportunities. But it's up to it's 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 the people who actually seize them though. You gotta seize those opportunities. So it's time to seize all these opportunities that the world gives you. It's time to seize this opportunity that I am gave you. You signed up to I am for an opportunity. Now it's time to seize it. Right? Now it's your time. You, you, you got to grab it. and You got to say, hey, this is mine. I'm going to put it right here. It's not going away. Right? You got to seize that opportunity right now. Right? Number three, resilience. Like, You've probably faced, think about it, resilience. You've probably faced challenges, setbacks, right, in your journey, but those experiences have strengthened your resilience. So now, all those obstacles, you can overcome them to your success. Type in one in the chat if you face challenges already. If you have faced challenges. Type in a two if you have faced setbacks. And let me ask you a question. Has that not made you stronger along this journey to your success? The mere fact that you're still here now, you've already overcome that. Remember, I said this this morning. I said this, I, I know I wrote this on Friday the chat. But I said, measure your success not on income, but on impact, right? So think about it. You've already overcome a lot of obstacles. Just because you might have not made any money yet doesn't mean you haven't overcome, you haven't been resilient. All those obstacles, setbacks that that have been put in your path, right? So number three was resilience. But you guys already faced setbacks, challenges. Matter of fact, it was a challenge for you to sign up to this. If you really think about it, just doing this, You have to be resilient just to say, you know what? I am going to try this. I am going to build the business. I am going to share this information. You know? That's a challenge that you overcame because the first step to anybody succeeding is taking that first step. You have to start. Before you succeed, you have to start. And most people don't start. Number four. Network. You probably in, have built a network over your time here and I am and throughout life you built a network. Right? So now you, got, you want to use these connections to get you to that next level. This network that you built before I am, and I am, is what you need to use to get you to that next level. All those followers you've been acquiring throughout the months, years, it's, it's, for, it's for this right here. It's for this opportunity right now. Because again, it's, it's your time. It's not my time. It's your time. You built that, you built, you built up all this credibility. 
you're Tommy and I am, right? So now it's like, use that credibility up against your network. Because now your network will, 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 will hear you out faster than what they did before. They'll be more receptive now to what you was trying to show them maybe a year from a year from a year ago, six months ago, eight months ago, because you built up that credibility over time. Right? Number five, your purpose. Your purpose. Find your sense of purpose. Find your sense of purpose and align that with your goals. Align that with your goals. And that could be a powerful strive for you to your success. So find your purpose, right? Number five is purpose. Find your purpose, align it with your goals. And that could be a powerful motivator for your success. And take the time out. And I'm using this word a lot because, again, KD uses us. Let me do training on time. Take the time out to reflect on what truly matters to you. Like, just take the time out to, to reflect on what truly matters to you and why it's your purpose. You know, I, I feel like since we always just working and running and running and running, we never take time to reflect on why are we doing this for anyway? Like, why am I doing this again? Why am I quoting this person? Why am I trying to get this person to see the presentation? Like, why am I getting on this Zoom today at Friday at 7 o'clock when I just want to get a drink or something? Like, right, like you got to reflect on your purpose. Does that make sense? And just figure out what really matters to you. Number six. I think that's number six. I'm not sure. I think it's number six. Number six, right? Five was, was five purpose. Number six. Okay, number six. Number six. All right. It was five. Okay, so I did five. So this is going to be number six. Okay, got you. Then. Remember, guys, I'm you know I'm old and I'm doing it on top of my head. So you, know, you got to help me out here. You know we got to work. We got to pull each other. You know, I pull you. You pull me. You know, say <laughs> remember, I'm doing this all from my my head. Number six would be learning, continuous learning. You know what I realized, right? That. Your success really is a commitment of you learning. It's, a, it's like a lifetime of learning and growth. Look, I swear to God, I the last two days, right? I took my son to the doctor yesterday, right? When I came back, I had bought a course. Uh, this guy on Instagram that I've been following, his name is probably some of you guys might know him, some of you guys might not. His name is Wall Street Trapper. And what I like about him, his name is the Wall Street Trapper, is that he breaks the stock market down in a language that, you know, a lot of us could be familiar with. And if anybody wants this course, I can give you the course and, and give you the, the, um, the password, you know. But I've been... Yesterday from 2 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night, today, all morning long, I haven't even been on Instagram or nothing, because I finally went to get something to eat at 6 o'clock. I was as, as modules of videos and stuff like that, and I was taking, look, you think I'm lying? Look, look at all these notes. Like, And I'm not a person to take notes, but look at all these notes I took. This is, this is from yesterday to today, like, taking notes and, like, notes. Like, I'm, like, like if I'm a, a P nothing, I'm just learning. 
But I realized that 2024, I said it's time for me to learn about more things. So I paid for his course. I'm not gonna lie, he had like a good deal, like twenty-seven dollars for something that's worth a thousand. And then he had like once you get to his website, I bought something else for seven bucks that was worth like two hundred. Then I bought something for a hundred that was worth like fifteen hundred to two thousand things or something like that. So I ended up paying one fifty for everything. But it's a lot of information on stock markets, how to read them, what how to look for companies, how to trade in the stock market. It was just. But it was me like saying, you know what? I need growth. I need to continuously learn. I can't just say, hey, okay, I'm in corporate. I know, I know, I know something about trading. I know something about network marketing. But if I'm in this space, this space has stock market. It has a lot of stuff too. So I wanted to learn about that because I've been following this man for the last three years and seeing his growth. I mean, this guy's having. Rich, I know you follow him. This guy's having the last, I think this whole week, every week, every day, he was having like upwards of 75K more days, right, Rich? In the market, in, in, in the stock market. And I'm like, yo, hold on. I kind of learned from him. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Because I've been following him, but I just never said, let me sit down and buy his course and, and learn. But I realized I got to keep learning. Never stagnate your, your your learning. Like if you say, okay, I, I already I already know everything. I know enough. I don't need to learn more. That's when you fail. So if I could sit here for a day and a half, and I'm talking about I've watched so much videos that I don't even want to watch TV right now, anything. Like I, when I after the Zoom, I just want to close my eyes because I've been to two o'clock yesterday to six o'clock today. I went to sleep like around one in the morning, woke up at six. Took a shower, went to the gym, 8 o'clock. I was back on those videos to 6 o'clock. Just learning and learning and learning. Because I realized I have to embrace new challenges. I have to seek out knowledge. I have to be ready for that, to adapt with the changes. Does that make sense? The world is changing. Are you changing with it? That's what you got to ask yourself. And if you're not, it's time for you to change with the world. Because it's going to be two, it's going to be the people on this side that didn't adapt and change with the world and the people on the other side that did. So what side are you going to be on? So that's, I, I want to learn the stock game. And, and I'm telling you, it, it's a lot of video, but it's great information. And it's something that, like, again, I'm, 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 I just want to keep learning. You know, that's what I said. It was time for me, 2024, to learn more stuff. Just don't get stuck on the stuff that I already know. Because sometimes we tend to do that. Like, okay, I already, I'm good at what I do, so I'm just going to stay here. But that doesn't mean you can't learn other things just in case, right? And number seven, because uh, that was number six, is impact. Impact. I always used to say this, and you probably heard me say it. I said, everybody has to make it. When I would go to an event or do a call, I would say, each and every one of you have to make it because you all got a story that somebody needs to hear. And if you really want to make an impact on, some, on, on somebody's life, on someone's life, make it, tell your story, and watch the impact you have on people's lives. More than more than helping them to get to their destination, because in this company and that we're marketing, what we do, we help others try to reach their goals, right? When they're building the business, we're helping them with this training, building the business. But you saying your story and you making it will impact them more than you helping them. Does that make sense? Because you can help a person, but if you haven't succeeded yourself, it's not as impactful, right or wrong. But if you succeeded and you're able to say a story, that's going to impact the person 10 times more 
then you helping them succeed. That's why it's important for you guys on this call, and I always say this wherever I'm at, for you guys to make it. Because there's somebody out here, out there right now, I'm be honest, there's somebody out there right now that doesn't know you and you don't know them. But eventually, you're going to cross paths. You're going to cross paths. And that person is going to see you somewhere speaking about your story, how you trying to. And how you took your story and, and, and made it a success story. Now, I don't know where you're going to meet that person. It could be in this company. It could be just you speaking somewhere. It, you could, matter of fact, you could be with a group of people just hanging out. And you start speaking your story. And there's somebody there that came from a friend that you're all hanging out. And you just tell them a little, about, a, a little bit about yourself. And you end up telling them. You know what you do and how you got into it and all the stuff you overcame. All of a sudden, that person's like, "Wow, I I knew there's a reason why I came here today and met up with you guys to hang out." You don't know where you're gonna share your story that's gonna have an impact on somebody's life because I'm gonna tell you something. Whatever story you have right now that's in you that you're waiting to 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 let out when you make it and you speak on these stages, there's somebody always going through that situation whenever you speak. I realize that. Yo, I can go right now and, be, and call five friends and tell them, bring five friends and go hang out. Let's go bowling or something. I invited five of my friends and I told them, yo, invite some friends. Let's go bowling. And I bet you that I say my story and if each one of my friends invite one person. One of those five people are going to be going through what I'm going through or, or went through it and needed to hear my story. It's just amazing how, how that happens. The only thing that, the only way people are going to hear you is, is speaking on stage and at an event or speaking at a, a opportunity event. But it's anywhere. It could be anywhere. KD could have been hanging out with my boy today. And KD could have been in a situation where, you know what, he was homeless or he, he you know, he's in a bad financial situation. He might have kids. And I say my story, and that might just lift him up. And he was only coming out the house to think about it. He came out the house so he can get his mind off of that, right? Because that had him stressed out. So my friend might have invited him. He comes out. Hey, go here. I am there. We all kicking it. I don't know KD like that because my friend invited him. I start sharing my story and boom. It's like, yo, that's crazy. Going through that. Damn, I needed to hear this. I can't believe that I was trying to get away from that, but it came to the front of my door. It still came to the front of my door. I left the house to go hang out to get away from those thoughts and get away from that for a couple of hours. And look, it still came to me. That's how it works. That's why your story is so important. That's why I stress upon you guys, you have to make it. Because you have to be able to say your story. And that's why it's time. I want you to write this down. I want you to remember that success is not defined by reaching a specific destination, but by the journey of the growth. Success is not defined by reaching a specific destination, but by the journey of the growth. And I hope you wrote that down, because after this, I'm not going to remember what I just said. So somebody tagged me on social media because that shit was a bar, but I'm not going to remember after this call. So somebody run it back and tag me because that shit is a bar. And I, you got to read it back to me now because I, I, I'm not going to be able to read it to you now. But write that down. Because that is the truth. The journey is, the, remember, the journey takes time. The journey takes time. You growing into that person takes time. So, every
everything in life is about time. You might not have time, but time don't care. Does that make sense? You might not have time, but time don't care. Time is on, on you are his, you're on time's time. Time is just walking while you're running. You know who time is? Time is the person that you beat from the horn and get out the way. And they just walk in, they walk in like a turtle across, and you're trying you're trying to beat the light, but they, they want to walk mad slow across the street. That's time. And you're beeping the horn, like, yo, hurry up, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to catch this light. That is time. That's who time is. The most annoying person that's, that's, that's not trying to get out your way so you can keep going. That's time. Time is on its time. So everything in life, it takes time. Whether you have it or not, time don't care. Time is just going to go his time. And whatever he gets to you, he gets to you. You're over here reaching for him. You're over here trying to put him in a headlock. And he don't care. He's just taking his time. And whatever he gets to you or she gets to you, it gets to you. And you just got to deal with it. You got to suck it up and deal with it. And that's just the way it is. But I want you to trust in your abilities. Stay focused on your goals and see the opportunities that come your way. Trust your abilities, focus on your goals and see the opportunities that come your way. And enjoy the resilience and the fulfillment along the way. And now it's your time. It's your time now. Now it's your time. Before it was my time. Now it's your time. It's your time now to say, hey, you know what? I've been along this journey. I've grown along this journey. I've got thick skin along this journey. I built a network along this journey. I found my purpose along this journey. So all this time was leading me up to this point right now. So all that time was leading you up to this point today. And now it's your time to make it happen. And that's all it is, guys. Remember, I say life, success is a, I say this about network marketing, but I'm always going to say this about success. Success is a war of attrition. Write this down. Success is a war of attrition. Either you outlast it or it outlasts you. You quitting is basically success outlasting you. But you continuing is you outlasting success. It's who's going to give up on who first. So it is. It's like you're looking at success, success is looking at you. Success is like, okay, waiting for you to quit. And you're looking at success at like, I'm coming to get you. But success is waiting for you to quit. So you're just looking at each other. On one side, he or she's on the other side. And success is just looking at you like, okay, when, when are they going to quit? They're not going to make it to me, so I'm just waiting for them to quit. And you're looking at like, I'm coming to grab you, success. I'm coming to walk all over you. So it's who's going to outlast who. You ever see like that the game where it's like a tug of war, one person pulling to one side, the other team is pulling. That's what it is. 
That's exactly what it is. That's the game of life. Is who's going to outlast who? I've made a point in my life that I know, see, that's why I always say great things happen over time, not overnight. Because I always say that because I have to realize that myself. Like, there's things that I want in life today to happen. Because we all impulsive, regardless of the fact. I could come on here, Alex Moore come on here and talk about patience and all, and all that stuff. But we still want things to happen right now. If you ask us, do you want to wait two years or do you want it right now? I don't care how much you can say I'm a patient person and preach it. But if they was to give you a choice right now, let me get it right now. We are impulsive by nature. But it's the ones that understand that great things happen over time and overnight that become successful. Because you have a pure understanding of, of waiting. And I'm not a religious person. I'm not a person that, let me tell you something, guys. I'm not a person that, um, you know, I don't, I'm not a person that uh, talks about church and stuff like that. But I do believe that it's not on your time, it's on God's time. And I realized that. That is not really when I want it. Because if you ask me, or you ask anybody, they'll be like, I want it right now. Man, I need it right now. I can ask any one of you on this chat, hey, listen, you want your success right now? Or you want to wait a couple of years. Now I'm going to say I'm going to right now. It's just, and not even that I want it, it's that I really need it right now. Forget that I want it, it's just that I really need it right now. There's a difference between want and need, right? There's a difference between want and need. I want to go to that restaurant, but I don't have to go. But I do need food in my fridge, though. You see the difference? Want is a luxury. Want is a luck, like it's a luxury. Need is something that you really, that, that's really what you need. So I want my, I, but I really need it right now. But that's the thing. It's not on our time. It's really not. Because let me tell you something. There was days, you know, somebody told me, Yo, if you pray a lot, if you pray a lot, God's going to hear you. Man, that was bullshit. Somebody told me if you pray out, God's gonna hit. Now, I was praying three, four, five times a day when I needed it. I was like, man, I'm still two weeks later, I'm still on the couch. Yeah, I was praying 10 times a day. I guess he must be sleeping because he ain't hear me. So I told myself, you know what? Let me let, let me let me pray every hour because then I won't miss it. So every hour I was praying. And I was like, maybe, maybe I didn't pray at two o'clock. And he was awake at 2 o'clock, and I missed him because I didn't pray at 2. So I would pray every single hour. Still didn't hear me. Again, it's not on me. It's on the man upstairs. So don't get frustrated. Just wait your time. Don't get frustrated. Wait your time, but it's your time now to make things happen. So, with that being said, guys, uh, appreciate every single one of you that was on this call. KD, I appreciate you for making this happen in, in such short notice. I know I called you today and I said, hey, listen, I want to get on the call with your team. I just felt like it was time for me to speak to you guys. Um, I think some of you guys were in Phoenix when I was there. I don't know. I think some of you guys, I know John was out there. Um, 
I'm really proud of everyone here. You know, like I see guys like Rich. Jacob. And it was not the guy, I just saw him. I don't know where he was. I'm extremely grateful for you guys. Because you guys have weathered the storm. You guys have seen the good, the bad, and are still here plugging on. And in a world today that we need instant gratification, you guys haven't submitted to that. And it's probably people because I, Jacob is from Jacob, let me see your face. Make sure there's the, the Jacob that I know. Where you at, Jacob? So tell me you're in the bathroom somewhere. I know where Jacob is at. But I, I know that's my guy Jacob from up north from Akron, not Akron, but somewhere. Right? Is that Rich? That's him? Is that that Jacob? I think that's him. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Um, and I remember going to Akron, and then I think the first event was like, hey, this was like in 20, I want to say, Rich, that was what, 2021? I think that was 2021. What was that when I went over there? And and what was the other kid's name? I was hosting, I was doing an event with that guy's name. And he's from Akron. But to see you guys still here, I appreciate it. Not for me, not for me, but for you. Because it shows me the type of character you guys have, the type of commitment, and the consistency that you guys have. And you know, when you build this business, because I went to Cleveland. I remember I went to Cleveland, went to Ohio, and they had some momentum and, and, and we packed it out. I think I went two times over there, if I'm correct. I went two times over there. And it's easy when everybody around you stops doing what you're doing. You look to the right, you're like, oh man, that person's not here. You look to the left, and that person's not here. So it's it's honorable when you in the middle and everybody in the circle leaves and you still stay there in the middle and continue. Like, I respect, let me tell you something. I have more respect for Jacob, for Rich, than anybody who could hit chairman, hit chairman, because that's, that's the good part. That's the easy part of this business. But it's the people who actually do everything are still here that I respect the most. Because they could have said, you know what, I've been doing this for a while. I haven't seen the results. So you know what, I can say, hey, I tried it. I, I to, to my fullest. But it's, move, it's time to just move on to something else. But the main fact that they hear reminds me of me. Because again, I, I, it took me seven years to really have success. That real, real, real success. And I would be on the calls like them. And a person be like, yo, man, yo, man, what's up, man? Yo, I'm like, yo, you still here? And I'd be like, yeah, I'm here, man, I'm here. He'd be like, yo, I remember at the upline at the time, I'd be like, yo, I respect that. I respect you, man. And you still here through, through, the, through the storms, the hurricanes, you still here. And he used to tell me, eventually, you being here is why you're going to have success. And I used to be like, man, he's just telling me that shit. He was telling me that shit. But you know what? It's the truth. It was the God's honest. Because people always ask me, Tico, how do you, how you have success? I'm like, yo, I think people think I don't want to speak to them 
or I'm trying to brush them off, but I give them the same. So that might be a lame answer. I just stood. I just stood. Stood around until good things started happening. I stood around until things started go, turning in my direction. And that's why I see in them. That's that's what I see in them. Um, so, you know, obviously, because now that I'm in corporate, like KD said, I am traveling a lot. I got to go to Penn State. Definitely uh, got to go to Penn State. So I'm thinking, uh, you know, this month, February, I'm going to be in Europe. But March, I'm going to go to Penn State. And um, I definitely want to do something back in that area of Akron and Cleveland. Um, because just because people might not be here anymore doesn't mean that we can't get that market going. Because one thing I tell you was going to help you guys is that people might not see you doing an event in a while and you do an event and they're like, oh, they still around? Oh, okay. They still doing that? They still doing that? Oh, shit, okay. And watch. Watch how people start little by little coming to you. And they're like, oh, okay. Them, them boys still doing that? All right. So March, we do have a Pals tour that we got in March, but I have days that I can go to Penn State, and I definitely want to get something done in Cleveland, um, or whether it's Cleveland or Akron, it doesn't matter. But those are my two places that I'm going to be at in March. I'm going to be in Penn State, and I'm going to be in the Cleveland, Akron area because I owe it to those guys. I owe it to Sienna to go to Penn State, and I owe it to Rich, to Jacob, and anybody in that market that's still pushing. I owe it to them to get over there. So I'll be there in March. And what I want to do for both of those places, I don't just want to go for one day and dip. I want to go for at least two to three days. You know, do some, try to get multiple events running and do like a training, have a culture day. Yeah, you know, two of those days we do events. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna commit to staying three days in both of those places and um really, really like just get everything going again. Uh, because I love to see the commitment. I love to see um you guys still here. That 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 right there is so much respect that I got for you guys for still being here. I, I like you don't even understand how much respect I have for you guys that I two or three years later. I'm on these Zoom calls. You guys are still on the Zoom call. Because I always say this. Well, everywhere I go, I say, listen, I see everybody here, but in the next 90 days, it might be a different roster. And I say it because I've been in this industry for 11 years, so I understand it. It's a revolving door sometimes. So I appreciate the people that are actually still here. As that revolving door, they're not getting in it. They're just staying inside and letting everybody else revolve and leave. So... Definitely, that's what I want to do. Guys, thank you, for real, for being on here on a Friday, man. Like I said, I'm here home. I've been studying. I'm trying to get better myself so I can be better for you guys. And um, KD, man, let's, let's, let's do that. I know you said you want to do it with me. So let's talk to them. And let's, I'm going to look at the March house tour. I know we have a lot of days in between. And we could definitely go and, and, and get those networks up and running. Let's do it. Let's do it. Drop some seven, seven, sevens in the chat box, fam, for the coach, for OG Unk. Thank you so much, my brother, for being here and um coming with the value. And it's true what you said, man. It's time, you know, and it's the right perfect time right now for us to stop and and start cooking up. And, you know, I've been talking to Luther and also Rich and um really cooking things up together. So they'll be ready for March for sure. And we could go out there together. Um, Does anybody have any questions? Anybody here, any questions, feel free to, you know, ask. Um, will you take a couple questions real quick, T? All right. Hold on. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, we got a question right here. I think I'll uh, mute themselves if they can and ask it. Yeah, yeah you I'm can unmute you. yourself. Can, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. All right, I first want to say thank you for your value. Thank you for paying it forward. And appreciate you, Katie. 
you're always, you know, leading the team and putting us ahead of the curve. So the question that I do have is in about like 20 minutes, I'm going to be um, speaking at a conference. I was wondering okay. um, what advice you would give to somebody for um, like doing it the first time and just when it comes to like speaking in general. Okay, so are you speaking about just anything in general? Or are you speaking about it? What are you speaking no. about? Since it's Black History Month, I'm going to be okay. um, speaking gotcha. a poem that I wrote. So, so this is what I tell you. And I tell people all the time. When I speak, yes, there's a crowd there, but I'm looking straight and it's like I'm speaking to myself. Like, I, I know there's a crowd there, but for me, I'm just speaking to myself. Like, I'm all alone speaking to myself. Because once you acknowledge the crowd, and this is your first time speaking, right? That's what's going to make you nervous. Acknowledging them, looking at them, and them looking at you is what's going to get you nervous. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I would look straight to the wall. Straight to the wall. And then look at, if you're going to read the poem off a of paper or something? Yeah. Okay, so I would look straight to the wall and then look. I'm not even going to look at the crowd. I'm not looking this way, this way, the crowd. I'm going to look at the wall and when it's time for me to read, I'm going to read, look at my notes. And that and you'll be fine. Once you start looking at the crowd, that's what's going to give you, especially if it's like your first time like that, that's what's going to get you nervous. You get what I'm saying? The crowd is what gets you nervous. Once you block them out and you act like they're not there and you just feel like, oh, I'm just going to read my stuff, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And in the future, I do want to, you know, get into like public speaking and, you know, be able to do like more events and like conferences. What other advice would you suggest for like that when it comes to like practicing, building up that? Well, this is what I love about network marketing. Network marketing helps, lets you practice public speaking because when you're doing constant events, like when you're doing the presentation, that's public speaking. It's just a different lane of public speaking, mm -hmm. right? But you're still public speaking because there's a crowd there looking at you speak about information. So you're still speaking. That's the thing about I love network marketing that network marketing prepares you for a lot of things outside of network marketing without you even knowing. So if you want to do public speaking, get your practice out doing presentations every day. Doing because pre that's helping your craft. See what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you, T. I appreciate it, bro. And uh, to our sis, bro, just go out there and fail, too. If you mess up, it don't matter. If anyone laughs at you, they probably just losers. At the end of the day, you got to realize a lot of people be cowards and their opinions don't really be valid. So if you're out there dropping value or something that you feel deeply about in your poem, then just rock out. You're going to have someone's going to connect with you and then you'll be relieved that you were able to be vulnerable. I think you should always be vulnerable too, though. Appreciate you. Thank you. But I mean, when I first started speaking, when I did my first poem at, at high school, my girl know when I did my first poem in the class, uh, I didn't necessarily stare at a wall, but I didn't really look at anything. I was gone in my mind. You know what I mean? So I did block them out too, but I don't know what I was looking at. And now that when when Mr. T said that, I kind of thought, like, what was I looking at? Like, whoever was looking at me, I probably looked a little funny. But I got it out, and everybody <laughs> felt me for the second. That's how it is, man. That, that's, yeah. at, the end, at the end of the day, guys, understand that um, even when you do a presentation, I always say this. You never get nervous doing the presentation. You know why? Because the guests don't know if you mess up or not. Only you know. And maybe somebody that's there from the team might be like, oh, she messed up. Oh, she messed up on this. But they're not going to scream it out loud. They're not going to be like, yeah. hey, audience, she messed up. They're just going to do it in their head. So think about it. When you're presenting the presentation, the person seeing the information, whatever you tell them is what they're going over. Because they never seen it. So I used to always tell people, you don't have to be nervous. You know, when people, when I would make people do the presentation, they'd be like, Oh my God, I'm nervous. I'm like, what? I might mess up. They don't even know. You can call Forex Crypto or Crypto Forex. They won't know most of it. Might, might not even know. Hmm. So it's just like, 
practice with the presentation if you really want to be a good good at public speaking and at the end of the day you should practice the presentation because it is your craft uh this is your craft if you ask yourself what is your what do you do for a living i do network marketing so where's network marketing network marketing is you showing the opportunity to somebody else that is your job so if you're doing the network marketing side that's your job. You got to show this to other people. That's your job. So, any other questions? Hey, just thank you again, T. Really appreciate every time you mess with our whole team. No problem, no problem. Thank you, appreciate Coach. I appreciate it. you. Just no be problem. watching you. I'll be watching y'all too, man. I'll be watching y'all too. <laughs> But I, right, fam, yeah. I appreciate you guys. I honor you for stepping and being here on this call today. Thank you, coach. I appreciate you. And um, guys, have an abundant, abundant day. And let's go out there, guys. Let's go kill it. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Happy Friday. Have a blessed weekend. And have an abundant Thank you, week. guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Bye, you, Amelia. Appreciate you. I miss Ain't this John, what they've been waiting for? John needs to <laughs> run the call. You ready? Absolutely. I'll do it. Hurry up. Uh, it's time. Uh, I used to pray for times like this yeah, to rhyme like this. So I had to grind like that to shine like this. In a matter of time, I spent on some locked up in the back of the paddy wagon, cuffs locked on wrist. See my dreams unfold, nightmares come true. It was time to marry the game, and I said, Yeah, I.